Granada, Livermore, Shea, Hill. The 2019 California 2019 California State Division II Boys Championship Race. We are here with Newberry Park High School cross country coach Sean Brosnan who is celebrating a couple of different titles in today. First and foremost, coach, congratulations. We'll start with the girls. Um, if you could, first time in state history for them winning a championship. We talked before. You said early on this was a team that you felt could win a state championship. And throughout the year, they've answered every challenge, every situation that's come forward, and now that reality has been realized. Take us through the sense of accomplishment, seeing this come to fruition from the beginning of the year to the end. You know, I, like I set up on the stage up there, you know, the girls set the goal they wanted to win the state championship. I have a big thing as a coach is like, I'm not, I don't like to sometimes set big lofty goals. I want to set the small processes and the steps you're going to take to get there. We reset in the summer when they said they wanted that. And I sat back and I said, listen, this, if you really want this, we got to work hard. We got to put a lot of work in this and we got to do everything right. We're not an extremely deep team, but we're a talented team. And if we work hard, we can get there. And these girls stepped up. Honestly, I mean, everything that I asked them to do, they did. You know, every, all the supplemental training that we needed to do on top of our running, they did. Um, they saw the guys' success. They realized quickly that, you know, with a little bit of hard work and, you know, some being positive, a lot of things could happen. And I'm, I'm just proud of these girls. They really put, you know, um, they put all their efforts into this. They sacrificed a lot. They had to give up some stuff, and it was pretty awesome to see it happen. When you see it come to fruition the way it did, this was a team that last year was not on the radar in terms of a state At championship. Yeah. They saw what the boys did. Like you said, they kind of recalibrated some goals. To see it come to fruition the way it did today with a true team effort, yeah. just what's the relationship like between the girls and how special was it to see them work together here today? The girls, it's a beautiful relationship. The thing is, we've had a new one probably the past three or four races, so they knew that. You know, the plan was to run as a pack to the first mile and then let it go. You know, our biggest thing is that second mile. you got to work that second mile. To me, if you can get to mile two here, you could finish. Um, we had one girl who had a bad one, wasn't feeling good, but our, our four and five stepped up big time today, and that that's what it's about. And you know, hopefully we can get to national swimming performance. I don't know yet, but if we do, I think we have another, you know, we set our whole season up and we, we risked it a little bit today to be ready for next week. Next week is where we're really gonna be ready for the guys and the girls and everyone. And you know, to see them run together and have faith in me and to listen to the instruction I gave them what to do is, is amazing as a coach. And it, it even is better when I see it come too, you know? Just talk a little bit about building that foundation on the girls side. Again, last year, maybe not on the radar. Obviously this year, not only on the radar, Radar, the main blip on the radar. Right. Now building for the future. This is a program on the girls side which people are saying, wow, this is a program we're going to have to watch. We know that the level of accomplishment can be high. What is that like from the coast to build that particular program from where it was to where it is now and where it can go in the future? You know, I, I, think, we're, I think we're at a beautiful point because I think now this is what we can build off of. Like the guys, it's easy to have people believe when you see success. Now we're going to have more girls with success. I, what some people don't realize is my team only has, we have, I have 18 girls, JV, varsity, everything. We're a small team. Cross country might not be the coolest sport at our school, but the ones that do it are 100% committed, and that's what I want. I want people, I don't care if you run 26 minutes on this team, but if you're 100% committed, you're on my team, and I want you to run, I want you to be there every day, and that's how we look at it. And all the girls, I think it just feeds off each other. And I think, you know, from now on, I think being at top, yeah, you'll, you'll target on your back a little bit, but the, the truth is, I think, you know, it's it's a good thing to have, you know? I mean, you can't, you can't keep winning year after year after year, although some teams se seem to be doing it. Um, you know, and, and that's a great thing, but I think, you know, our goal is just always going to be on top. My goal is, when I started coaching four years ago in high school, I said, I want to be Great Oak. I want to be uh, Dana Hills. I want to be Claremont. I want to be these teams that are always at the top, because those three teams are always at the top. Yeah, they might not win every year, some of them, but that's what I want. I want that program. I want people to have confidence. They're coming into a program that's going to be podium at the state meet every year. And I think they, they believe it now, and they know that. The girls are building that foundation here again, Coach. Congratulations. First time in school history. Newberry Park High School girls win the Division II state championship. Congratulations, Coach Brock.